how y'all doing youtube family welcome to my channel youtube can be great please follow me on instagram youtube can be underscore gr8 underscore channel i'm a little bit discombobulated if that's the right word right now from what i just read so i'm trying to piece my thoughts together before i get to talking to y'all i just pulled up an article that refers to the podcast that ti just did that basically said that this man takes his daughter to the gynecologist every year after her birthday she just you know she's 18 years old now his daughter deja and that what he does is he takes her to gynecologist and he wants to make sure that her hymen is still intact the fuck i had to play that shit in my head you take your daughter to gynecologist and while she's there every year you got to make sure her her hymen is intact Correct me if I'm wrong. There are several things that we need to do as women at a gynecologist's office and making sure your hymen is intact is not one of them or a top priority and what's on the list of what you need to do as a parent when your daughter goes to the freaking doctor. It's not like she has some issues or something like that that she needs to be checking her damn hymen to make sure it's still there. You know what? This is what pisses me off about this entire situation. I'm very happy that a parent is taking the initiative, a male parent is taking the initiative to be so involved in their daughter's life that they're comfortable taking them to go see a gyno to get regularly checked because I do feel like a lot of men need to be well aware of what we women have to go through as it pertains to us having kids, as it pertains to us giving birth, as it, you know, getting pregnant, as it pertains to us going through our normal menstruals, the up and downs of our emotions, the cramping, everything that we have to go through to get ourselves all the way together to please your ass. So I obviously feel like men need to be involved especially when they're children so you can help them doing those changes in life however being involved doesn't seclude isolate the virginity as one of the main things that you're supposed to be paying attention to it's one thing for you to give her advice on the type of men that she needs to date i.e not like you because you obviously proved to us right you are not a righteous representation of what a man is supposed to be as it pertains to respect and women because you didn't cheat on your wife several times hell recently y'all done broke up because you were supposedly fucking somebody else y'all just got back together so we see that you do not you're not the poster boy for what it means for a man to really treat a woman the right way as it pertains to being a husband you may be a great father but as far as the husband you've broken several rules in that regard so teaching your daughter what it's like and what men like you go after and how you look for girls and what you target is a great way to make sure your daughter doesn't pick the right the wrong person that she preserves herself for the right person however when you're focusing so much and let's check the hymen there are several ways the hymen can be broken outside of having sex we all know that and sadly, there's a lot of um, third world countries that don't understand that, especially in communities where it's extremely religious, that they focus so much on what the woman's virginity is as it pertains to her dowry and how much she costs. I guess her virginity makes her cost more. That they don't care much about the rest of her body. The hymen is not the only thing on the body that needs to be taken care of, but that's the only one that they focus on. And you know, the irony of all this shit is it's always the freaking man that feels like he has a right to tell another woman or young lady what the hell she's supposed to do with her body and her sexual parts. Like, what is wrong with you? It is none of your business what I choose to do when I'm grown. I can make the right choice. I can make the wrong choice. Your job as a parent is to instill values within me to make sure that when I do go out of the house, I make the right ones. What the hell is going to happen if her hymen was broken and she told you that she was fucking? What you going to do? Reverse time and make her unfuck somebody? I don't understand what the point of focusing on that is. This is, it irritates me when shit like this happens because I know... That I've seen documentaries of people whose parents will murder them, you know, for the sake of their honor, saying that this girl went out here and she had sex before marriage. Or will murder them because they're incapable, they're unable to get the dowry that they need to finance their son's education because the girl chose to have sex. Or the man refused, will refuse to marry the woman if she's not a virgin. And so, because of that, you have all these crazy shit that's happening. I don't know if you guys know what FGM is, if you guys have heard of it. If y'all haven't heard of it, do the research on it and really get familiarized with what that is. But I'm going to give you the PG version of it. FGM is female genital mutilation. There was a time, even till today, it's still happening in several countries out there where they feel like women are naturally promiscuous. And if they don't control the woman, if they don't control what she does, if they don't control what man she sees, how often she goes outside, how much exposure she has to the outside world, there's a chance that she's going to go out there and either have sex or be raped because there's men out there that are not able to control themselves. So what they do is they, you know, they circumcise we know that guys get circumcised but now what they do is they now instead of it's not certain they call it circumcision but it's genital mutilation because what they do is they mutilate the girl's body private parts so much so that when it's time for her to have a baby 
or it's time for her to actually engage in intercourse when it's you know when they, they deem is right because now she's married and they've gotten the diary they need it is the most painful thing that she has to go through because you got to actually take a knife and cut her open and when she gets pregnant want to have a baby when it's time for the baby to be born if you don't cut that stomach open or her or the area open for it if the baby to come out long enough the baby can die inside her and she has to go through all this pain and she her entire life just to exist to please the man it is some bullshit and the genital mutilation they have three different types one of them is called Suna. The first one is called Suna where they cut a little bit of the clit off to desensitize her. The second one is excision where they don't just cut the clit off. They cut the clit off and the labia and some parts of it to make it a little bit, like take all the fun parts out of it. So that way she doesn't feel any joy whatsoever. It's just for the purpose of getting pregnant. The final one is infibulation. They take everything. They, they cut everything to where everything looks flat. They take a needle, sew it up, and they leave a small hole for peeing and for menstruals. And when it's time for her to get married and... And they do it so young. Sometimes they're doing it as early as when she's a baby. Nine months old. Sometimes as early as two years old. They hold her down, spread her legs, have a razor blade, blade chop that thing off. And then when they're done, they stitch it back together. When she gets married and it's time for her, the husband to go in there and do what he's supposed to do as a husband, they would take a knife and they literally have to cut her open. And the entire time she's either in pain because she's the first time she's been touched or she's in pain because she's bleeding to death. And all this because they're trying to preserve the fucking hymen. So when you sit there and say... Yeah, I take my daughter every year to the doctors to make sure her hymen is thin. What the fuck? Like, you not you didn't make sure that your man hymen wasn't... I mean, I hate to say it because guys don't have hymens, but you didn't keep your freaking virginity till you were married. Hell, you still don't keep yourself chaste. Or you didn't keep yourself chaste even prior to you getting married. And now that you're even married, you're still not faithful in your own marriage. But you want to not control what she does. I'm not saying that she needs to go out there and, you know, have sex and do all this stuff, whatnot. But you're... You're saying that you take her to the doctor and that's what you check. That that's what are the priorities of what you make sure this inside. That's you know what it doesn't even sound right. As I'm saying it, I can't even picture it. I can instill values in my child. I can instill values in both my daughters and my son. I can instill values, let my son know how to treat women. I can instill values in my daughter to understand that her virtue and her beauty, not just on the outside, inside matters. And if she, and in order for her not to have any regrets, it'd be better for her to wait till she meets somebody who she feels like is in tune with her, is her same person, is gonna trust, is gonna protect her, is gonna be there for her, and is gonna respect not only her hymen, but the rest of her body, her soul, her mind, everything that she comes with outside of just that particular, you know, that particular thing that is the hymen. So for you to sit here and say that that's your focus to make sure that it's still there. Like you can have girls out there that are still virgins, but their spirit is ugly as hell. What you going to do then? Is the hymen worth it? Is it? Like, I just, I can't, it's too late for this type of shit. Like I see a lot of ignorance and sometimes I can just, you know, ah, Common sense is not universal. I don't need to pay attention to this shit. It's not universal what happens. But when I see somebody overstepping their boundaries, I don't know if y'all watched The Handmaid's Tale where you got all these men telling all these women what the fuck they're supposed to do with their bodies and how they're supposed to live. You do not have that right. You don't have that right. I'm not out here telling you what the hell to do with your penis. I'm not telling you who to stick it into. I'm not telling you that you should keep it in your pants when you're married because you chose to get married. You chose to be in that type of matrimony that you're not supposed to be doing that. You don't have a right to tell somebody what to do with their body. You have a right to instill certain values and say, hey, this is not right. Maybe you should handle it this way. But you're not going so far as to take her to the doctor to check that to make sure it's still intact because she has to go by your child. I don't know. Maybe she's programmed to just, you know, because she knows daddy's going to take her to there. She just, you know, she's like, you know, I'm not going to do this. Or maybe it's something that she, if she chooses to be, to protect her hymen of her own free will, because it's what she wants to do and it's what she values. That's one thing. But if she's doing it because she's afraid or she may be scared or she may be worried that this is what daddy's doing, that he's going to check me every single year. That's a whole nother level of bogging. I'm starting to think that, you know, it's crazy. And, you know, the crazy part about it is it's always the person who is not actually doing right is the one that feels like they're gonna have to tell you what to do that's right. You're not leading by example. Your actions aren't speaking virtuous, aren't speaking righteousness, aren't speaking, you know, greatness and, and you know, and, and, you know, somebody who's holier than thou. But you're the first one to open your mouth to tell somebody what they're not, what they're supposed to, what they can and cannot do with their own body. What kind of sense does that make shit? Anyway, please like and subscribe with the notification bell so you can get tea when I post it. Let me know what y'all think about this situation because I just heard several parts of it i got so irritated i had to stop it because i'm like why why are you announcing this number one even if this is what you do why i, I don't know if i'm embarrassed for her i feel sorry for her so i just decided to feel a combination of both because i'm like uh 
why we see what's going on nowadays with the whole abortion situation and everything and i'm just like damn people just need to stay in their lane stay where you know don't cross over be there as a parent do what you're supposed to do instill values not just based on the sexual aspect of it as it pertains to women because it seems like when men are involved they always want to gear towards the girl and tell the girl what she's supposed to do and what she's not supposed to do give her values that she can use but don't tell her what the fuck she's supposed to do eventually she has to make decisions on her own based on the values you instill don't be taking her to the damn doctors to see a gynecologist when you have other things you can talk to the guy know about you want to make sure her hymen is still intact the fuck it's not a health issue for her hymen not to be intact so sh let that shit go anyway guys have a good evening i hope you guys have a nice sleep i'm tired so i just came back from school and work i'm tired so i'm gonna go to bed love y'all bye